Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, June the 9th. Today's title is Betrayed with a Kiss. It says, while Jesus was still speaking, Judas came up. Judas was one of the 12 followers. He had many people with him. They were sent from the leading priests, the teachers of the law, and the Jewish elders. Those with Judas had swords and clubs. Judas had planned a signal for them. He had said, the man I kiss is Jesus. Arrest him and guard him while you lead him away. So Judas went to Jesus and said, teacher, and kissed him. That's from Mark 14, verses 43 through 45. says, Jesus had one of his friends hurt his feelings a lot, I think, as kids and even as adults. We can understand that. Absolutely. I mean, kids, you know, he took my toy. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. He stole my pencil. Yeah. But even as adults, we can understand somebody hurting our feelings. We Absolutely. can understand a friend hurting our feelings. Absolutely. I think as adults, we're a little more cautious about who we are around because yes. of that stuff. Yes. And kids don't really have the um, maturity yet to right. realize that, you know, if somebody hurts you once... Go away. ...in a serious thing, that they're probably going to hurt you again. Right. Um, but we can all understand that. So Judas showed the leaders who wanted to kill Jesus where he was. Judas cared more about the money they were going to give him than he did about Jesus. And that's, I can't imagine turning Jesus in. Right, for 30 pieces of silver. Yeah, yeah. and for being a disciple of Jesus and seeing right. all the good things that he did. He saw all the miracles. <clears throat> firsthand. And still chose to yeah. just and when you basically read, give him up to the people that were going to kill yeah, him. Yeah, and when you read on, I mean, he immediately regrets it. Yeah. But, I mean, like, once I, the decision was made, it was made. I can, I can't, I can't fathom seeing all the miracles no. and then just betraying no, not at all. The person all. that has done those miracles. Well, and that has us. been like a brother to you. Right. We need to remember that Jesus wants our love, and he wants us to show that we care for him more than other things. That's something that even as kids, we can show that we care about Jesus more than our toys, more than, I mean more than the money that your grandparents give yeah. you. And I'm, I'm trying to think of examples of, I mean, just throwing it out there, a kid who gets birthday money and then uses it to buy toys for somebody else. Right, absolutely. I mean, something, something to that effect yeah. that kids do right. um, to show love to other people that then in turn is showing your love for Jesus because he's the one that says, right. you know, treat these people with kindness, Absolutely. that sort of yes, thing. Yes, yes, yes. Um, but we need to show Jesus our love for him and not for everything else. And I think that can get twisted sometimes because, you know, we say, well, Jesus gave me these blessings. Right. It's a tricky situation. But you don't want to love the blessings too much. Right. Absolutely. And forget to give Jesus praise for giving you those Absolutely. blessings. That type of thing. Absolutely. Prayer says, Jesus, help me to give all my heart to you today, loving you with all that I am. That's a prayer that we all need to pray every single day to love Jesus with all that we are and give him our whole heart every single day that we get up. Go out, have a great day, and be the example.